I'm going to show you how you can scrape any website, any website on the internet and extract structured information using LLMs. We are going to use a library called crawl for AI that makes your life really, really easy. This is going to be a very simple demo. I have not even added the name yet. We are going to extract pricing information from Anthropic. So I've taken the code from the GitHub repository example that they've given. I've modified it slightly to make it simplified. And we are going to do one thing. What is it? We're going to go here, extract all these pricing, put it in a JSON object. So for example, if you were to build a website and you want dynamically updated pricing, so you can have the script running for you in the backend, uh, which will let's say run every week, every couple of days so that the pricing is automatically updated. So the very first step is for you to install the crawl for AI library. And before that, you have to install a bunch of dependencies. So first thing you're installing a bunch of dependencies. Once that is done, you're installing crawl for AI. I think it has got two modes. One is the asynchronous mode and uh, the second one is a synchronous mode. There is a warning that you would see somewhere saying that, okay, you should install the asynchronous mode because the synchronous mode is going to be deprecated after some time. So install all the libraries. It's, it's, it, it's got a bunch of libraries as dependencies. After you install all the required libraries and all the required dependencies, the main thing you would see is you would see Playwright. It's like a browser automation tool. Um, if you are from the Selenium world, you would understand this. This is going to help you use a browser emulation to go to the particular website and get content. After you have done all these installation, the next thing is you load all the libraries, async IO, crawl for AI, uh, import async web crawler. This is where you would see this information that synchronous web crawler is not available. Install async, uh, sorry, crawl for AI sync, especially for synchronous support. But please note that synchronous version will be deprecated soon. Okay, we have been uh, loaded everything. We are going to have a pydantic object just to say that, okay, what is the type of structured information that we need? After we have done everything, now is the core, the main juice, the magic where it's going to happen. Uh, you have to first define your OpenAI key. So I'm using OpenAI here, but this can be also done with local LLMs. Like if you were to use any model from, uh, let's say, Olama powered model, this is quite possible for you to do it. The quality might differ, but it is possible. Now import OS uh, from Google Colab import user data, which is not required because we are going to hard code uh, or add the environment variable for OpenAI. Then you define the model. So you have created a class here. So you want three things. One is a model name, input fee and output fee. So if I were to show, quickly show you the um, output, so you have model name, input fee, output fee. So that is all we want, model name, input fee, output fee. And then we have got the field type. It's a string, string, string. And what is the description? This is quite important. That's how the structure information is extracted. Name of the OpenAI model, fee for the input token for the OpenAI model fee for the output token for the open AI model. So right now we are doing Anthropic. So let me change it to Anthropic, Anthropic, Anthropic. And we have got Anthropic, Anthropic. So we have got open AI, uh, sorry, Anthropic model, Anthropic model, Anthropic model, async a diff. Uh, we are creating a function, uh, an async function, async with async web crawler. This is from crawl for AI. Verbose is equal to true. You're going to see everything. So await crawler.aran and what is the URL from which you want to extract this? As you can see here, what I've given is just like, I think this is Ajax. Uh, I'm not sure if it is Ajax or jQuery, but this is not a separate page altogether, but still it works. So if we've got um, the URL, we have got the word count threshold. And the main thing here is the extraction strategy. So what is the model that we are using? We are using GPT-4.0 mini model, and it's going to take the OpenAI API key token from our environment variable. We're saying use the schema, open AI model fee. This is the schema that we have defined here. I've left it as it is open AI, but you can change the model, whatever you want. So the next one is what type of thing that we are doing. Extraction type is equal to schema. And then what is the instruction? This is exactly where the LLM plays an important role. So first thing that we are doing is we're going to crawl all the content. Okay. So very similar, like typical web scraping. So if you're using beautiful soup, first thing you are going to extract all the content, and then you would use beautiful soup to extract structured information. But instead of using beautiful soup, you're going to do something like this from the crawl content, extract all mentioned model names along with your fees for input on output tokens. Do not miss any model in the entire content. One extracted model JSON format should look like this model name. What is a model name input fee and output fee. So this is a format and some of the instructions that you are giving and you're just giving a, a, an argument saying bypass cache is equal to true. If you were to rerun it again. By default, crawl a caches everything so that if you give the same URL, 
it doesn't have to go again and hit the server and get it back to you. There are some ways you can add your own proxies as well, but right now we don't need to add our own proxy. So once you do that, you can just simply print result.extracted content. And once you run this, you are going to have everything. So the first step is warming up the async crawler. Async crawler is ready to crawl, crawling from this particular website. Crawled successfully, then crawling is done for this. Time taken is 4.87 seconds. And then content is extracted, which took less than 20 point two point two zero seconds. And then it extracts the semantic blocks. Now call the LLM to go through this link and extracted five blocks from the URL. Let's go back to the URL, see one, two, three. I think it is also extracting this particular part, I guess. Why is it five blocks? Let's see. And the first one is Claude 3.5 Sonnet, Claude 3.5 Heiko, Claude 3.5 Opus, Claude 3 Heiko. Do we have Claude 3 Heiko? Okay, we have, yes. Oh, sorry, my bad, I missed it. So that is why it is five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that was my bad. We have got all these things. Let's just quickly cross check the pricing. I'm going to pick Claude 3.5 Haiku, which is which is um, 0.25 input and 1.25 output. Okay, we have got all these things exactly whatever we wanted. Let's check the sonnet price. Uh, Claude 3 sonnet was $15, is it? Oh, that is Opus. Hmm. Oh, it is $15. Oh, it is actually $15. Okay, cool. So it didn't make any mistake. That is great. So I'm going to show you uh, live how we are going to do this once again with a different website. So maybe for this particular use case, I can go check the Google pricing, Google LLM, Google AI studio pricing, price pricing. Let me go here. Gemini API. I'm not sure if we'll be able to browse it. So this is the first time I'm trying this. We have got a couple of models here. Input pricing says free of charge. Oh, that's interesting. It's going to be interesting because we have got different models with the different tabs. I don't think it is going to click everything, but it will be an interesting test. I want to go take the URL, go put it here. Okay. And I'm going to just run this. After I run this, I guess it will not work. So maybe if I've done it without hash flash, will it show everything? No, it doesn't still show everything. Okay. Let's see. It's going to be interesting. Oh, it did actually. That is interesting. Maybe because it's part of the same page. That's quite interesting. So it did Gemini 1.5 flash free of charge, free of charge. Gemini 1.5 flash 8B free of charge, free of charge. Gemini 1.5 Pro. Let me go to Gemini 1.5 Pro. And then you see free of charge, free of charge, but still you have the paid one. So it decided to take the paid one here. 1.0 Pro takes embedding 004. So everything has a free of charge. So this should be like a little confusing for the model, but I think it still did a pretty good job. How much time it took? It took 1.8 seconds to crawl, 1.2 seconds to extract the content and the LLM thing, everything overall done in about like four ish a second. That's quite interesting and very fast. So there are a lot of other things that you can do. You can go to a Wikipedia page, extract um, structured content. If you want to fine tune LLMs, you can use this to create your data set. Um, and again, like the very basic use, you want to scrape a website. All you have to do is go here, put the, put the, content, the URL here, change something here, and then you can get it. Maybe one thing we can try is we can go try. I'm going to go to leeches. Okay. And I'm going to see if any uh, broadcast has been happening so that we can try to get a game um, detail. So I'm looking for the broadcast here. And um, the last one that I had here was the youth chess champion overview players. Okay. So I'm trying to extract this one. Okay. So I'm going to go here. And I'm going to go paste this link. Okay, I've done this. Now I'm going to define the structure here. So this is player name. Okay, player name. What else I've got? I've got uh, the ELO. Okay, I'll uh, I'll just do those things. Okay, uh, player name, ELO score, games, number. Okay, so name of the player, um, ELO score of the player, ELO score of the the player number of sorry number of number of games of the player okay we have added the links and uh, from the crawl content extract all the mentioned mentioned player names along with their scores and games and um, 
one extracted one should be player name should be let's say maybe like abdul i don't know if if i give like a random name it's going to get confused let's see abdul m um user uh, elo score my elo score is complete crap uh, i don't even have an elo score probably but let's say 1400 that's that's where i'm hovering in blitz on leeches and output then num games games number is equal to maybe like zero okay let's see what happens here so this is like on the go i'm doing it i did not practice this before leeches i don't know leeches would let you first of all scrape okay so we have got a gm um alexi that's the first one 22530 very good we have got um i am uh, seaman yakub which is 2489 that's amazing so we have got all these things now what i'm going to do is i'm going to just go here literally copy this and go to a json formatter okay i want to go to a json parser and see if it parses actually very good so because you know of course json okay there is an unexpected white space available here uh, format json on line number 6 that's interesting so where do i have on line number 6 it says there is okay this closes here this closes here. maybe i have to do this okay for my json still cool interesting this closes here this closes here this closes here this closes here why is this let me try a different parser uh, because there was quite interesting to see that json parser okay it's loaded it says unexpected non white space after character at position 138 mm i think there is something that is missing with the json parsing uh, especially after alexi okay so that's quite interesting what i'm going to do is i'm going to open chat gpt in the Uh, incognito fix this json format okay let's see if it if it gives me a new format ah what is this they they're doing some kind of ab test the json format you provided is incorrect or not valid it appears to be the list of objects missing it is missing okay what is missing i'm unable to understand what is missing anyways none of my business right now i'm going to copy paste it okay it works fine so we have parsed we have got the json we have got eight objects we go here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so we have got all the information that we need and all is possible because we have got crawl ai with which you can possibly possibly scrape any website and extract structured information from them using any llm that you would like i hope this was helpful to you i would share this google collab link in the youtube description but if you like this go start the repo it should mean a lot to the developer and see you in another video happy prompting